Hello everybody and welcome to another one of these awful videos. My name is Craig Bryant and I've got a weird obsession with transport and Premier Inns. This is the unfortunate woman who got married to me about three, well, three weeks ago, a day actually, isn't it? Rachel, do you want to wave to the camera? You do not want to be a, a poor woman, poor woman. And uh, yes, you can sense what's coming. You already know in the title that we are in the Auburn Premier Inn. Auburn is on the west coast of Scotland. Um, I've been here like every single year of my life since I was six months old. I absolutely love the place. And this is actually the place where like, it sparked my love of ferries. You will see why, in my opinion, this is the greatest Premier Inn room I've ever had. And I'm saying it right now, and I've literally been, Rachel, how long have we been in this room? Two seconds. No, it's not, no, don't, don't lie, it's not two seconds. For how long? Two minutes. Two minutes, exactly. And I was like, I'm just doing it, doing it when it's brand spanking new. This is amazing. So. Auburn Premier Inn, I think it's like, don't quote us on this, but about four years old. I've been here once before with Mummy, and um, that was back in, before I had um, yeah, a wife and a girlfriend, whatever. I don't have a wife and a girlfriend, actually don't, Rachel, I don't have a wife and a girlfriend. Uh, but yes, I came here with my mother, which is a great holiday. Um, yes, and th this hotel was literally brand spank and new, that was 2019. Um, and it was class, but we didn't have a room on this side of the hotel. That's what makes this room the best one I've ever been in. Um, we are in room 208, second floor. Uh, the lifts aren't just there, but that's where the team member stuff is when they clean the rooms just next door, and then the lifts on the other side. So I don't know about how loud it's gonna be, but who cares, man? Just like, you're on holiday, just sleep through it. People just doing their work. Uh, but the lovely woman, I didn't catch her name, but shout out to the receptionist who was lovely and uh, swapped my room over from the other side of the hotel because I requested a ferry terminal view and that's where we're going first guys because this firstly new style room full length window and that there yes is the ferry that ferry there is the mv isle of mull is the ferry which started my love of ferries that is open ferry terminal there is open railway station if you love transport and premier inns this is literally the best stop before heaven when, when I get there and the Lord Jesus will let me in. This is as good as it gets, guys. That there, that there, you can see the Calmac funnel. You can see the MV Isle of Mull at the end of my finger. I'm absolutely wet myself. We are sort of on honeymoon. We're not really, we went to Kefalonia in Greece. So I'm now like treating myself and Rachel has to come along to some indulgent premier inns before we go back to work. This is like, the peak, peak Premier Inn. It is a new style room, so I will go through it, and I know you all hate this, slash love this bit. Uh, low ceiling. Now guys, if you watch these videos all of the time, you know what low ceiling means. Low ceiling, as you get in, but bigger ceiling there means aircon. That's where the aircon unit is. And I will tell you, this room is flipping freezing, isn't it, Rachel? Um, but it is churning out the greatest temperature um, to sleep in, 19 degrees, I think 18 degrees is actually technically the scientific best temperature to sleep in so that'll be lovely tonight i love sleeping in the cold and um, as as always the three languages german french and english and the wooden door i'm not gonna you know guys you all know what's happening here we've got we do not disturb over there put that on the door for later uh, we have got hello hello everybody oh my days that is so strange and um, we've got the makeup mirror we've got the hairdryer out here we all know this we've all seen these these are standard now in the new style premier in normal rooms of the sort of open cupboard uh, wardrobe malarkey and a lovely massive mirror there which you can see rachel in um she's just sitting on her phone bless her um with these newer hotels they are slightly small but actually this is this room could be made up um for an extra person there so you could technically have three people maximum in here. You pay a room rate. Um, I will say the Auburn Premier Inn and the Fort William one, because uh, there's nothing else around here and because it's summer season um, or a little bit more expensive standard, like, you know, they're not just whacking the prices up because they want to profit here. It's just all of the hotels here are pretty much full. They've had the Auburn games on this week as well. So it was about £100 a night. Um, I think I paid, which is like, that is a lot for a Premier Inn. Um, not as much as I, I think the maximum I ever paid is 110 in London Waterloo. Chris Redfern, you came that time. It was the night of the Rio Olympics opening and we sat and watched Ray Mears because I paid for the room and I was in charge of the television remote. Chris will tell you that story. Um, 
massive telly, much better than the ones in the Derry Premier Inn um, that we were in. Bit tired on the inside, that one actually. So, um, so sort of similar, similar vibe of a place. I always find a uh, sort of London Derry, Derry and Auburn, sort of that sort of similar vibe. They're not the same type of place, and that's a city. But um, the Premier Inn here is a lot nicer. I'm not going to lie, it is newer. Uh, massive desk food menu gonna actually gonna get some food from down here and um, because Auburn has got some nice restaurants but some of them are a bit crap as well and i just we just want to eat quickly there is rachel on uh, that makes up as the bed as i've always said rachel say hello to the fans i don't have any fans what you're waving at i don't have any fans nobody's watching this but me I, all of the views on me watching this over that's the best thing about the new style room is the purple lighting you've got the hypnos bed absolutely lovely will enjoy my sleeping tonight uh, which will be great and uh, you've got all of the lights you've got your english sorry english british awful for me sorry to my scottish fans we are one country united kingdom and they are our united kingdom plugs three prong greatest electrical system in the world matthew brown will tell you that I told you about the aircon last place and then you can go to bed because you're probably watching this when you're very bored you're very bored if you clicked on this video you have You've hit a side of YouTube where your boredom has massively peaked. You're about to look at a Premier Inn bathroom. So if you've got this far, you think I'm sad. You're the one that's actually watching this still. Um, so thank you so much. And if you are still watching, there is the like and the subscribe button that does help me out. I get absolutely zero pounds for this. I'm, even, I'm not a YouTube partner or anything. So that is a smaller bathroom, but being a new style, it's everything. There's the echo, lovely. Not tired at all. That's the best thing about this. I haven't even been in here. Like, I just knew what, what I was going to expect. The bath, pretty new. But there you go. Rain, rainfall shower head. Absolutely lovely. You've got your classic Premier in. They don't trust you with their bottles of stuff. So they give you them. And actually inside them is, is little packets of, of soap. But don't care about that. Towels, towels, towels. Absolutely spanking clean. That is what you get. Spanking clean. The only thing Premier in. Why don't you trust us with toilet roll? Why? Why don't you trust us? You get them in those little things. It's the only downside. But guys, this is the greatest Premier in room. I'm going to have a whale of a time in here. Rachel is too. Um, I'm going to go and look at some ferries. Um, also over there, just had my first look of the Loch Frisa, also known as the MV Utne, which they got from, I don't say that wrong, got that from Norway when the SMP were cacking themselves and thought, oh, we better buy some new ferries because the ones we build uh, aren't getting built. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, um, fair dues, good on you. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye-bye. I just finished the video and I set up my seat and then the ferry started moving. Bye-bye, MV Isle of Muller. We'll see you tonight. That was the biggest ferry in the world when I was a kid, but when you get on them standard lines now, that is, that is not as big these days. If Carlsberg did, hotel rooms, what a joy. Literally got the greatest view. That bad boy spins very quickly. Hello, have you just had a poo? I'm videoing the ferry going out. <laughs>